Weeks ago, a Phoenix police officer in the wrong place at the wrong time, Officer Gennaro knew, killed after his patrol car was slammed into by a red light runner near Cave Creek Road and Greenway Parkway. His death sparking new conversations about what can be done on our roads to make them safer. Our Megan Thompson leading our Operation Safe Roads coverage. She's looking into what can be done. Megan, we know a red light camera here wouldn't have changed the outcome, but the focus now is on future incidents. Exactly. We're looking into what our state is doing about speeders, impaired drivers, everything. This morning, we're focusing on your comments on this ABC 15 Instagram post. It was information I had collected from AAA showing how our state is number one in the nation for red light running fatalities. Many people commented about the length of the yellow light, saying it was too short, causing people to run more red lights. So we decided to investigate if a change of signal timing could actually save lives. Green, yellow, red, the constant cycle of colors. Time to roll through the traffic commands in two minutes at roughly 1,150 signalized intersections in Phoenix. That accounts for the green movements for each direction, the left turn phases that might happen, as well as those yellow and red times are all going to happen within that 120 seconds. Matthew Wilson is the deputy street transportation director for the city's traffic services division. He said the timing of the yellow light at an intersection is determined by a mathematical equation. So national standards uh, incorporate a formula that depends on that vehicle speed, driver reaction time, the ability for drivers to decelerate before getting to the intersection. So that's the same at every one of our intersections. We use the same formula and it just varies by that posted speed limit. So for example, if the posted speed limit is 45 miles per hour, Wilson says expect the yellow light to last just under five seconds. Councilman Sal DeCicio, representing District 6 in Phoenix, brought up yellow light timing at a December 2019 council meeting. We should have everything on the table and you should be testing these things out in these intersections and seeing if that works and slows it down. At the time, the city was discussing the red light camera program that no longer exists. A majority of the council voting against keeping the cameras operating, with some believing it was a money grab or targeting low income areas. I requested to speak with Councilman DeCicio on numerous occasions over the last few weeks on how he believes the yellow light extension would save lives. And I never heard back. Obviously, if we lengthen the time for a while, people may not understand what's going on, but eventually drivers pick up on that and they continue their bad behavior of running red lights. Councilwoman Deborah Stark, who represents District 3, thinks drivers would just adapt. Stark voted in favor of red light cameras and said Mayor Kate Gallego will be reintroducing the topic coming up in the fall. We need some help because we're short staffed with the police. Right? You know, and so they, cameras are a great tool. I mean, it really helps with enforcement. As for the city traffic engineers, they are not looking into extending the yellow light because they believe it's safer to stick to national standards and say they are continuing to have those conversations with other traffic experts around the country. For us to be thinking about what the change would be, we'd want to see an increase in safety one way or another. And one small change doesn't necessarily result in safety. We follow a national practice. We're engaged in a discussion in the professional community on what the best, safest approach is. And small changes, small trying new things can really lead to unintended consequences. The Phoenix City Council did direct the Street Transportation Department to create a comprehensive traffic safety plan back in March. It's unclear when they'll finish that up, but they'll be looking into a variety of ways they may be able to make changes that they believe will still maintain safety.